a few questions you've been asking me. So the first questions were where I explain new technique and people say, is it ask me, is it like really a technique like this or different questions. So what I give you, it's basically a small secrets, small tips, which I see the best dancers do, which I do. And it's come with experience, with a lot of teaching, with a lot of uh, dancing, competing. And then you come to certain things which not traditionally uh, may be taught, but they are really, really helpful. Uh, they really work. I give you only what, what really works. And you can choose between, you know, maybe, you know, this tip for your work, maybe another one, maybe everything. So, so there is nothing like really a technique, technique. Uh, there is certain principles and then uh, from your own experience, you take uh, a few tips. Okay, so uh, one more question people ask me, it's uh, when we explain those body actions, a lot of movements, uh, they ask, okay, how to reproduce that in very fast music? And that's a very good question, uh, because when you're practicing actually slowly uh, without music, you can maybe achieve a certain, uh, let me show you, certain power, let's say you can do a lot of uh, rib cage, and then you press this button, you have a hip action, and you going so forth in a slow tempo with the, let's say, rumba, then you do, let's say, samba in a slow, without music, and you can produce uh, body actions. But when fast music play, very often, there is not much happening there. So the body become like square, not listen to you. So let me explain you how to do it. So there is a small tip. So when you are uh, trying to do body actions, and that's a good idea to start doing that, uh, you should do, you know, a lot of rib cage, tummy in, rib cage and hips. Mainly what people will see is your rib cage, the whole side uh, development, and then you press this button like I was, you know, showing before, and then you have a hip action, rib cage, hip action, rib cage, hip action. Rib cage, hip action, rib cage, hip action. And actually, what a very traditional uh, way of teaching, which you know I teach as well, but uh, there is a small tip to it. So let's say you start at a neutral position. Rumba walk is a great, by the way, example for any type of uh, cha cha, is it, you know, jive or samba. It's you know, exactly the same concept as uh, Paso Doble will be a little bit different. So let's say traditional way of technique is, let's say your knee straight, tummy in, you rotate your standing legs, you have hip rotation, you have that very strong side, and then this side take you to step, and then here you continue with the long, 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 long side, and once you finish, you press this button, and then hip action, hip start to move forward, and then this hip by rotating through the lifting the tummy, you know, invites the other leg, and then you repeat process from beginning. So if you dance like this in a fast, in a slow music, you will have a lot of actions. So you will go like this, 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 this here, then hip action, here, here, hip action. But if you want to do something in a fast music, and actually when you do your advanced choreographies, you dance. There is a small tip to it, uh, and tip is uh, the secret is not to stay on the same side for too long. What does it mean? So for example, if I follow this technique, what I personally discovered that, let's say at this moment, I can produce very powerful chest, very strong uh, side movement. But the second my heel touches the floor, I don't want to continue with all of this forward. I actually want to press this button and let the hip going forward. And I'm already preparing the other side to move forward. So that's very important. Instead of here, you're going, 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 and then do hip action, then the sides prepare. You're gonna do it a way, way, way ahead. So your body action, step, and soon as the heel touches the floor, you see your hip moving forward, but you already try to bring the side forward. Walk and already bring the other side forward. Walk. So as, it, as soon as you step, you're gonna press this button. So don't stay like this for too long. As you develop maximum action, press here and already start going with the opposite side. So what it's gonna give you, uh, let's say when you're dancing, 
you're never going just you know straight line for too many steps most of the time you're rotating let's say if i have to do a hip twist of course i want to do this normal technique it says you get here then you press this button hip comes forward and then you twist but when you have to do consecutively continuously many this uh, technique will not really work so what top couples do and myself as we step here, actually, we are already pressing and already turning our bodies this way. So you see, I'm not even arrived there, but I'm already turning, but my hip arrived there. So it's, for me, it's very easy to go to the next because I'm not going here. I'm already start turning. But even if I'm not turning, let's say I continue for the next rumba walk, I will already start preparing my opposite side. And it's, it's very, very helpful. Like you're thinking way ahead and every movement become very actually easy and fluid. And this you can apply to absolutely any movement, any dance. So one more time, this is not easy to explain. So one more time, first of course, you have to learn how to do long side, body action here, then hip, and then secret. Don't stay here too long as soon as you step. Press the button, change to other side to connect actions.